Okay, so I already applied the Smashbox uh, Lid Primer 24 hour and the tube is really annoying because, you know, you try to get out the smallest amount and then it's like stuck in there and you press a bit more and you get out like half a centimeter like a big blob. I just put it on my nose and here and here just to see, you know, if it works for that too. Why well, shouldn't it? But, you know, you don't want to, to use a lid primer for the whole face, so, you know. Yeah, that's a bit annoying, I'd say. I'm using this Pupa palette in these earthy colors with this um, kind of pale mint green today. And just a fluffy brush, kind of fluffy brush at least. But I think in the crease I will take something matte because these are all with shimmer. So I will again grab this um, Smashbox palette because it's so practical and it's just here in front of me all the time. So that's what I will use. And again, you know, these probably this and this, those, these two hard to see you know in the mirror yeah so those you know neutral colors for the crease uh, yeah because you don't want oh I don't want now today at least any sheen up here and I will take this color kind of high up like that today just to do something a little bit different and if you hear snoring in the background that would be my boxer she is inside the house Snoring. The other dog doesn't snore because she has a longer nose. <laughs> yeah, she was blessed in that way. <laughs> so I will just take straight to the light color with the same brush even, just here. Just really simple like that. Now to complicate things, you know. I'm taking the darkest brown from here with a small brush like this. Just here in the outer part of the eye. Yeah, some fallout also because I didn't tap. Okay, you know. So I took this brown, dark brown up like this, that kind of thing. You know, kind of my usual way of doing it, but yeah. And then I will probably go for the bronze color. Why not the bronze color? I will take the same brush actually and use just the other side of it. Not that it's a big difference, you know. They both brown, so you know. A little bit less high up maybe. Because there's shimmer, you know, shimmer and sheen. And then I just take this brush again just to go between them a bit. And I will clean up the brush a bit and go for the orange color, you know, orange. And go a little bit closer again, you know, kind of usual thing. So here. Just to blend a bit around everything. So the mint I green, and I will take just for the inner corner because it's really like really pretty and you know brightening effect or something it has. I think. I think I will use just a tiny bit of the silver from here also in the inner corner just to make it a bit brighter since I didn't have a cream eyeshadow under the green. So I will blend them together to get it a little bit brighter. I'm using a tiny bit of the black from here to to just to make the outside a little bit more matte and uh, dark and. I don't want to use eyeliners today, so that's also a reason why I want to take this one here a bit. The black matte one. Close to my lashes again. To make it less shimmery and, you know, just here. On my nails I have just the... What is it called? The primer from OPI? Kind of a primer. Ridge filler. Okay, it's a ridge filler, yeah. So that's why it has a really strange, and it got kind of yellow, I think. The, the color was a bit more, like, lighter before. Maybe it's getting old, I don't know. But it's kind of yellow now, so it's not pretty by itself, I have to say. Not pretty by itself. But I didn't mean to leave it by itself. Okay, so, I already know. put the Smashbox palette away when I see that I still need a little bit more in the crease. So I'm taking just a single eyeshadow from uh, It's a Boas, I think. Just a si simple, like, brownie, I don't know, boas, it's not very known, but it's just a brown, loud, light brown, kind of neutral brown. Because I have to add a little bit more here. Okay, so it's time for the skin, and I think I will... Ah, first I need to put sunscreen on, I forgot about that today. So, again, 50 SPF is needed. I don't need it on for a long time, let's say, but... I will anyways 
use this uh, studio skin from Smashbox because I think it just might be a really nice makeup for the summer, especially for the summer. Spray some more of this when I put it on. One more time and then just slap it on with my hands and use a sponge and do it kind of fast. Then I think it will be just fine. Go over really quickly. Just like that and not, you know, mess around with it okay, too much. I'm taking this uh, concealer again, which is not exactly the right color for me, but yeah, it's a little bit too much of a pink in this one. I'm actually using it up here as a highlighter and here as a concealer a bit. The darker one together with it and tiny bit here too just to make it lighter or whatever it looks really dark right now while I'm letting the yeah. foundation and the concealer now sit before I powder it with the Shiseido compact powder which has a 30 SPF in it and I start using it now for the summer like I would say like every day yeah with the exception of a few days maybe here and there mm, I'm doing the lips while I let it sit for a while okay so I'm taking this so, uh, lip liner instead because this one don't have to, sh to sharpen very nice <laughs> this one is bourgeois number one on it I'm using this um, Estee Lauder NV in 120 which is a really pinky nude like this kind of the same color as the lip liner actually pretty much okay so I'm using again this um, uh, Shiseido compact powder like a summer powder because there's 30 SPF in it and yeah it looks a bit dark like this but maybe because of the 30 SPF I said, I said it before it is a little bit tiny dark but it's the lightest one they have here I'm telling you it's like oh my well I didn't intend to start powdering but you know this Shiseido powder it's a very nice powder but it's too dark on me the color the lightest color they get here to Israel it's too dark on me so you know what it's not a surprise at all so I'm taking this Gela in number one just to go in the middle and a little bit you know to it's like a bronzer it looks like a bronzer on my skin so and I kind of took it down here too so now it's like a you know it's just okay much. so this Maybelline gel drama brow drama on my white hair in my brows first of all I let it dry a tiny bit over there and then I continue like usual. I just feel like using this kind of blush today. It's kind of bronzer, plum, something strange like that with some golden sheen to it. But I think I will mix it actually with a, a bronzer, like a matte bronzer kind of thing. So I will see which one I will take. I need a light one for sure because this is a dark kind of color. So I probably need the lightest color I have. Which would be what? I don't know, maybe this one from uh, Smashbox actually. Probably. It's not that light, but it's um, uh, sun kissed matte. So it's this color. Uh, it's not light, but maybe it's not dark either. So I will just take, uh, maybe I will try with a brush like this, but this one is a bit thin. I need a bigger brush, but not a dense one. I will just take this one. So a little bit in the bronzer and a, one time in the one time in the blush because it's very strong. And then the bronzer and then I will just tap it off a bit. Because if I forget get this too much on me, I have to do it again. So that's kind of it. I hope you have a really good week and a good start for the summer and that you stay well and enjoying your colors. Thanks again for watching.